This note can help you make perfect peach fuzz and also every kind of fluffy hairs. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this time let's talk about fuzz. I built a note called baby hairs and I make some improvement of that. So now we can make a perfect pitch fuzz. Using this note, we can also make something like a fluffy toys. So this video will be like three parts. The first part we will talk about how to build this note. I will introduce inside of this note. You can learn how to build this and we use this to build a basic pitch fuzz and then we will talk about how to improve this basic pitch fuzz to become a perfect pitch fuzz you can have a very detailed control of it so the pitch fuzz will not be longer just a straight line it will be have this kind of curvature very detailed and you can even use this technique to grow beers or something and then I will demonstrate how to use this technique combined with the technique we learned from the last video so using the color texture to texture our hair so we can make a fluffy stuffing toys using any kind of model using that technique you can also make this kind of moss on the rock I really like this result you can get even like a, a color from the texture so this video probably will be the last video that I talk about this hair topic what I really want to say is oh this note it's not only for hairs for like a, this kind of mask or combined with any kind of curve based things you just have to unlock your imagination it's not only for our facial hairs and you can even combine with other tools like CT and V1 it can be very very interesting and thanks again for my patreon member to give me suggestion to improve this note and if you like this note you can download the hair note V1 and V1 plus in my patreon also you can buy it from the gumroad but this baby hair note I will have a screenshot at the end of this video so now let's take a look how to make this baby hair note you can see over here have some hair it's coming from this note I will introduce step by step so let's take a look how do we use this first and we introduce inside it's actually a separate object it's not using the hair system this is an object I name it to be baby hair okay so if I close this note it will be just a empty plan so let's create a empty plan okay so I will just make it baby hair and just bring the geometry node and baby hair at first you will not see anything that's because we need to select this body object kind of like the root object but this time we will just use our model as whole because normally we will not animate the character with baby hair so I'm not worried about the efficiency or the animation I just use this body body is called body mid we need to make some weight for it let's try to create some weight paint for it create a new group and then it to be new baby hair okay so and go to the weight paint so let's put some weight first see if that work let's try to go back to this baby here and pick this new so once we name this to be the weight that we use on this body you see the area that we have pent now it got hairs it's pretty tiny i'm not sure you can see it clearly but uh, it's there so now we just need to pen some weight for it and set the material and just set some of the setting so let's maybe turn off this first and then pen some weight so first I can show you the weight pen that I do it before it's something like this you can copy mine or you can find some reference so you can take a look at this now let's go to the new one and just make some very easy one just not too detailed so you can use this uh, X so um, 
Just like that. Take a look uh, our baby here. So we just turn on this. So automatically you will have this here. So when you're rendering, you will see your hair. So I have already made the baby hair material. Just is the same as hair material. So now we have our baby hair just like uh, so fast. And let's take a look a little bit about some of the setting. This is the density. It's set to one, and one is good enough. And if you want to like a lower, you can go to like a very low 0.1 and just have a little bit maybe that's what you want and you can go up to like a 3 and it will be very heavy the lens you can set it to be I don't know like a, as long as you wish I think I have a post about like uh, some hair like a uh, explode on the body it's actually I'm using these systems with these systems you can make some interesting stuff not just for baby hair you can see there is some noise for baby hair it's not like a thick out from the normal actually I, I have applied some of the noise so if you give some noise W so you see there is some noise and there is like a like a noise power so you can make a stronger you can see there is like a pattern so the reason I make it like this is because I have made the baby hair for the old particle system before and at that time I have to like a brush all the like a different pattern for the baby hair like a hair maybe I go brush like that like that and some part and I think although that is more realistic but it's quite pointless because it is so small so I rather just apply some random noise maybe I can use the W to pick which I feel is most close so I don't have to worry about like brushing all this tiny baby hair kind of like a one click you just have to paint the weight paint that's it so all this setting you are supposed to not really need to set so let's take a look what is inside that's inside and I give you over a look and you can just uh, copy this some screenshot hope that is big enough okay, so that's the second part so that's overall so first we instancing some point on the face right we use a uh, distribute point on face and this set radius is not necessary i'm just showing you so i make it smaller okay, so some point on face and the important part is this selection and use the name attribute this you pick up from this object and you will select this object this weight pen name as the attribute it will become the selection wherever there is like a, some paint it will be select and we give some density for it and we just set some this value for it and then we use this point to instancing some curve so the curve is like a regular normal curve and we instancing that instancing all the curve on the face important part is this you kind of like a set its rotation along with the normal but before that you have to store this attribute and use here and then just use some randomness okay for the scale so now it looks very small but they are not actually totally even there is some part is longer some part is shorter and I also use this attribute for this new baby here over here for some of the value for the lens so whenever I pan the weight stronger it's like a tiny little bit longer 
and the weaker part will be shorter and also here is some attribute for some part will be delete something like that okay so that is like a instancing part and this part is for rotation which is the noise that i talk about which is like a, this part noise power and noise w so it's over here so that is the setting and then i just like uh, make all this curve become like a mesh then just set material that's it so that is how you can use your baby hair after some feedback from my patreon user i decided to make this even better now we can make this baby hair to be a more advanced like a real nice pitch fuzz and even grow some beers or if you want to make a fluffy toys you can use this let's see how can we improve this so there's a new function i made it's in this section okay so now we have our basic baby hair that is actually good enough for most of the render but if you want just like a perfect pitch first how can we do it about this so there is a new function called portfolio on so when you toggle this off you will not see in this part you have to turn on this like a ui to able to see that so now it becomes single line of mesh so it's not longer a, like a tiny tube so now let's apply this but before you apply make sure you are in the rest position let's apply this so now it becomes like an actual mesh so now we have the ability to turn it to curve so that's right click and turn it to curve and then let's turn it to be a hair but before that let's set radius otherwise it will be like a very huge it will slow down your computer so let's go to the geometry node and use the set radius so now we just turn it to be a hair curve this object is become like a hair you can rename this but now it didn't attach to anything so now let's attach it to our human model so let's click on this and shift click and control p attach curve to surface then let's try to pose this to make sure it is attached on our body yes it is so let's go back to the rest mode so now you see there is some thickness but uh, it doesn't have the factor effect like from the wireless to the thickness because that's show point of this let's make it very small so you see each hair only have two points so that's why it cannot calculate the vector of this hair so let's turn off this let's try to use set radius so you cannot really control the radius of this so we have to use a uh, resample okay so let's see about the point let's put a resample very top just below this and then that's show point so show the point so right now it's like a 10 point it's too much so that's set it to be like a four so we got some point to work on on this curve and then let's turn off the show point see the radius that's good let's do it like this so now let's apply this resemble and now we can actually brush all these hairs to be like a perfect pitch first i try to brush it a little bit so maybe i would like this area to grow like that this part i would like it to be like that you will see everything it works just perfect and sometimes because it's so small it's easy to accidentally brush to inside so let's make a collision so let's make a collision for it and then this time we can just use this model we just drag from here and put it over here so now when we brush no matter how hard you brush it will not go inside of your body and you can set something about this so you will have some thickness of the collision it will like be like that it will not stack on like a right on top of your mesh so now we can actually brush it very well and then 
if you want it to become like a beer, you just grow it like a grow and set it to like this. So now you can actually grow this like a beer. Brush it. Then, if there's some density you want to add, so just use these tools, Shift R, to control the density. Then you can add more hair. Or you can erase hairs. So now, for this side, we have like a beard. For the other side, let's talk about this pitch fast again. We can give some noise. Now let's make a setup for this. So now let's give some noise for this pitch fast. So now we use a noise offset to here. So right away you might see like a nothing. Let's make some change of this. If you see the longer hair, it's actually working. But if you look carefully, you will see the end of this longer hair is still not working. That's because of this fall off inside of this note. We have like a fall off for the end of the hair when it's like really close to your skin. It works really weak. So either you go inside to control this fall off or you just control the factor. So now that try to make some factor for it and see if anything is changed. So we need to test this value about like uh, this detail so the hair will noise properly. Okay, so we see some of this, right? That's because we only set this to be like half. Okay, so now actually all the hair is being noise, but uh, we have to use a set spy ID to make this noise apply to the individual hair now work as like a whole hair so let's put it over here and let's use the nan attribute set spy id and let's put it over here so now the noise is applying to the individual hair let's make some change of this maybe we can make the power weaker it's not so strong if you see some of your hair is like a flying away a little bit too much to your body, let's use another note called root snap. So let's put an end of here and pick this object. If you're using it like a root object, just pick that. So now you can see the root will be snapped to your hair. But uh, that is not what we want. So the noise we give still like a too strong, so let's make a weaker. Okay, so I think that is okay. So we can now set some scale for this noise and also some detail or some other value for it to be more random. Looks good. So give us some brush. Do whatever you feel right and if you feel your brushing is slow down let's close this collision and even you can close this setup temporary let's bring some of the hair out so for this collision best way to do this is you keep brushing and you keep applying this collision so in a state i feel it's good so if i turn off this collision it will show the hair original place so it's like a go inside of your body so let's duplicate this and then just apply this duplicate one so now if you turn off this collision the hair will be stay on outside of your body so now you can just keep brushing without the collision until you feel some of your hair is still go inside just turn on the collision and you apply that okay and just add hair just like a drag it down 
So let's see in the render. So that is how it looks like in the render. I make it a little bit longer using this grow node so it's easier for you to see. So that is how you make a very realistic, perfect pitch fuzz. A little bit more work, but uh, I think the result is worth it if you really want to focus on this. And then I use this set original post that I mentioned before in another video and use this attribute inside of this setup with this noise offset. So when this model post in other post, so the noise will not move, it will stay always like this. And this is the shader I use for the pitch first because I want it to work in the cycle and the EV. So I use this principal shader. If you only want to work in the cycle, you can use this. Now let's take a look how to use this baby hairs node to make some fluffy toys. In the scene, we have these toys that we import and then we make a separate object. On top of this object, we use baby hairs node. Now go back to your toys object and make some weight pen on top of it for where you want to this baby hair to grow. And set this weight pen to be the weight pen that baby hairs are using. And now turn the setting for it to be a mesh line. And after that, just apply the baby hairs node. And then we convert that to be a curve. And then we can convert that to be a hair curve. But before that, that's using a set radius node. So it will not be too big when it become a hair. So now this is become a hair, but each hair is only have two vertex. So now that's using a resample node. So it will have more point. And then after that, we just using a set radius to set radius of the hair again. And then that's using the set material node that we learned from the last video to get the color from this toys object to the hairs. And if you are not sure how to do this, I suggest you go back to watch that video. After all this, you can just do whatever you want with these hairs. You can use all kind of note to make this like a more dense or some curly hairs and also you can brush them as you wish using some more traditional technique to corn them or to pinch them Mostly using hair incense or hair children to get the density and then use some curly hairs to get the curvature of each hairs and also you can apply some noise for some randomness.
then we can use a layer node to make some flyaway of this hair. So some of the hair is longer or have more like a randomness. We can separate some of that to the other layers. And then we just using some other node to those layers. That is how you can use this baby hair snow quickly to make a stuffing toys. The rest of it just make some detail of it. This note become even more powerful, not just for pitch fuzz. So that's why it's called baby hair. It's not called pitch fuzz. I hope you enjoy all this hair note video. It shows the potential of geometry note and hairs. Even you are not download this, I hope you learn something. Give you an idea how you wanted to design even your own note. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and you can support me on my patreon and you can get this note so see you in the future video bye bye